So you all remember the video I put out the other time on how to remove images that are very, very, very difficult to remove, such as the ones that have a lot of hairs and you know those tiny kind of difficult images that find it difficult to um, remove the backgrounds. All right, so I have another means of doing that. So I'm going to introduce you to another AI feature that will help you um, remove such kind of background all right so this ai feature will not only help you remove the background it will also help you upscale your image quality to a better one all right up to 4k 8k all right so um without any further ado let's jump straight to the video all right just for instance you have um an image that looks like this you know it's sometimes it's very difficult to take out this image all right and something like this like this you can see how this image looks like you can hardly take out the background of this image all right you can see this one but in this video i'm going to show you guys the process in which you can remove such kind of background all right so without any further ado let's jump straight to it so all you need to do is come over to this website ait.com all right i'm going to put the link in the down description below and also in the comment section for you guys to check it out all right now you can see over here um you can see this is the website and um this is some of the features you can see you can see this image how the background is being removed you can see very perfect all right you can replace it with any background of your choice so i'm going to show you guys the process all right so once you come over to this website you can see um the the free trial you can also buy all right you can also try the free trial if you like it and if it interests you you can also go for the paid version all right so all you need to do is just come over to this and click on download so once you, you can download for windows all right and for mac so once you click on download your ai um software will come to this prod all right as you can see mine so once you um download it all you need to do is go ahead and install it so this is the software all right so once you install it just follow the process and guide it's very simple to do so once you come over to the software this is the software it image martin all right so you can see the option here drop drag and drop image files or folder here or click the add button all right so it simply means this is where you're going to drag your image to or you can simply click on this arrow over here all right it will open your dialog box so actually all you need to do is just come over and locate the the folder all right of where your image is for instance let me um use this image this is very difficult so i'm going to make use an example i'm going to use this image as an example for you guys so i'm going to click on open all right so all you need to do is just wait for this image to load over here and once it's once it's loaded you can see um you can see the the image here so the next thing you're going to do is you can see the hardware i'm using cpu as um the hardware to process this all right so you can see ai model um i'm actually using the edge clear v2 all right so um once that is done all you need to do is just you can see this option it says image matting all right so ai um inference is required so all you need to do is just click on start and you will wait for this to process you can see load ai models it has already checked so we are waiting for the inference for this image to process so all you need to do now is stick around and wait for this to load make sure you subscribe to this channel all right guys so basically you can see the difference between what we have before and this is what we have after so um over on over here on the right you will see where we have effects we have feathers we have blur we have black and white we have pixelation all right so if you come over to the effects which is the background you can add background over here you can use color or anything add backgrounds to read or basically come over to this effect all right now you can see this um dialog box over here you can choose to drag it to any spots you want 
so what you're going to do is you can choose to add use the color as the background here that is if you want to use color as the background all right and we have two features here you can use um you can change the background image or you can actually use color background all right then let's try the color background all you need to do is come over to this um pen tool over here click on it you will see the color dialog box will come in um so let me reduce let me see if i can reduce this nope so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the color i want to make use of so um let me see if i'm going let me see let's go with this background all right the purple background so once you click on any background of your choice so over here you can see you can use gradient colors so gradient color simply means using multiple colors to create a background do you understand so you can explore that by clicking on this use um gradient color all right so you can choose to add another color here all right so that is having purple and blue together so we can purple and green together so we can try it all right if you want to use multi just single color just uncheck this one to get a single color do you understand so um once you click on this right if you click on done all you need to do is just convert to this and click on apply to badge exports so once you click on this it will bring itself to this part you can see guys very simple very unique you can see how what amazed me about the software is how unique the bag like the background was removed it was very um swift like very unique and very very sharp you can zoom out and see very very no white stuff everything was trimmed perfectly you can see you can see over here so basically this is how you can use this all right so if you want to use the other option which is bringing in an external background you can actually come over to this option over here and select the image background option then you can click on browse all right just to import or um basically if you click on browse if you click on browse you can see multiple options here you can see this ones or you click on browse and import an a, uh, a background of your choice let me see i want to make use of this background i'm going to click on it and click on import all right so you can see image loading so we'll have to wait for this to come up all right so you can see um this is the background that have been applied to this this is very unique guys you can use this to remove background of any image then apply background to rates and you can actually do the same as exporting it all right you can also export it as png then make use of it on any software of your choice do you understand so this is how to make use of this um software all right so i'm going to show you how to export it as png and also how to export it this way so basically let's come back to if you want to export the png option you can convert to this port over here all right this port all right you can see you're going back to the png option so if you want to export this just the way it is what you're going to do is click on this export single export or you can do batch export if you want so you can click on the single or batch exports so you can see it has exported and automatically this software will open the folder for you to see um, what you've exported as you can see over here all right so this is what we've achieved all right so basically you can see uh let me zoom this out let me zoom this out you can see the png option over here all right then you can see the one we added the background you can see how unique this is right you can see how unique this is so this is the um, invert version this is the one with the background and this is the one without the background so this software is very unique it gives you multiple options all right so you can try this out and um, make sure you check out the link i'm going to put in the description of this video and also in the comment section below let me know what you think in the comment section below if you love this software go ahead and try it out all right you can go out um you can go ahead and get the paid version so you enjoy um every bit of features on this 
software all right you can actually try the free version if you love it you buy the um paid version all right so you enjoy all the features all right so guys let me know what you think and see you guys in my next video